Hey all, this is Mike with Ghetto Fab. Uh, this isn't Ghetto Fab, this was a donor for Ghetto Fab, just to get Ghetto Fab back up and running. Uh, this is the donor axle I was going to use for the rear. And there's a good frame, really, really clean frame, uh, that I'll probably sell here soon. But I uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. Ghetto Fab is now done as far as um, the engine. The engine's been completely reassembled. There I have one vacuum online that I need to finish actually. So, uh, but other than that, it's uh, pretty much buttoned up. Um, but uh, before going on to the next step of fixing the Ghetto Fab shackles, which are awesome as we all know, uh, I wanted to just ask a question. And that is, uh, after an engine sits for three or four years in a garage, and then uh, gets installed in a vehicle. Question is, is should it blow blue smoke at first? Um, is that a sign of the rings losing uh, uh, their seal? Or is it just normal? I, I don't know. I want to show you what it does, though. Well, here, let me give it some gas. So here it is running. Sounds good, looks good, smells awesome. But let me show you what happens when I give it a little bit of gas here. The truck is warmed up. And you can see there's a little bit of like blue tinty smoke. So, uh, am I screwed? Or, uh, is that normal from an engine sitting for so long? So, good old truck, I want to redeem it. If it's okay, I'm going to um, continue to the shackles and the uh, springs. And then I'm going to do the RV, the one up front. So I want to get this project done and out of here so I can start on the RV. So hey, if anybody has any advice, comments, suggestions, whatever, please let me know. Because um, uh, this is one of my uh, first engine swaps in a 60. Thanks.